Welcome back to Daytona. There's something special about victory celebrations after 24 hour races and especially so here at Daytona today when the team taking center stage is making its first visit to the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Let's meet the winners from Action Express Racing with Chris Neville. Well, Bob, I don't think I've seen so much emotion from a team that was won this race in a number of years. We saw tears from Terry Borcheller as the car crossed the line, tears from Mariana, Joao's wife as he drove across the line, other crew members. Some of these crew members stood here with the 58 car last year. So this team just incredibly surprised, incredibly happy, overly emotional about this win. All four drivers up on the car, Joao Barbosa, Mike Rockefeller, Ryan Dial, Terry Borcheller. Come on down, Joao. Joao, you won this race back in uh, GT, back in 2003. That was a class victory. Now you've got an overall win. Great accomplishment. This is so much sweeter, you know. Winning overall, it's like a great compliment to the whole crew, man. They did an amazing job. We never quit. Uh, we didn't have the best car arriving here, but they turned it around and they gave us an extremely competitive car. Maybe not the fastest, but very consistent. And uh, it was flawless, you know. It was. Um, what can I say? I'm out of words for, you know, my teammates did an amazing job. The crew did the excellent pit stops, giving me a great car. So what else can I say, man? Action Express rock and it's going to keep going through the year. Mike, you've won Le Mans. You've won the 24 hours at Nürburgring. Now you've got a Daytona. You're going to get a Rolex. Oh, finally, man. I was hoping so much, you know, to get that watch one day. And uh, I have to say, I... I, I I wasn't too optimistic before the race and uh, when I thought in the night what speed we could run and I mean if you look at the car there's no scratch right we never went off track we just did our perfect race and uh, the car stayed in one piece and the guys did an awesome job and what can I say I'm, I'm really proud to be part of it and finally I won and you know together with those guys it's a big pleasure. Ryan, you're the one guy on the team who hasn't won a major endurance race before. I don't mean to call you out, but is this the biggest victory? Well, he told me he was going to cry, so I'm disappointed you're not. This is huge, this is huge. And uh, to do it with these guys and this team is just is huge. Um, our crew were unbelievable. I've never seen a crew perform so many pit stops to perfection. And, and the drivers, we did a great job. I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible day. Worst kind of describe. Terry, a couple years ago, you were just a fixture at every sports car race you could imagine. Then you started dropping off the radar screen a little bit. Now you're back. You're back for a full season. Could you imagine it would start like this? I really, really couldn't. What a great team we have. And the co-drivers today, Rocky, Ryan, and Joao, did such a great job. It's just a privilege to be here, and I'm really honored. And uh, I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. I can't believe it. Great effort from a new team. Brian, what do you have in GT? 